Hey guys, I'm going to show you all the primary shortcuts in the Nitro Fueled game. Some of the community found shortcuts over the years from the original game no longer work, but these are the primary ones. I'll put this timeline in the description as well as, as a pinned comment. Now, most of the CTR tracks are going to have a trophy associated to them. I will also show you the Nitro Kart shortcuts as well. So we're going to start off in Crash Cove. Our first shortcut is going to be after the first corner here. And you need to build up a lot of speed. You got to do power slide turbos. You can get a little jump turbo here. Now at the edge of this water, there's a lip that you can use as a jump. In order to do that, you have to be going fast and you have to hit that jump at the right spot. Next up is Sewer Speedway. This one has a really nice shortcut in it. It is going to be in the half pipe area. When you come out to that half pipe area, you will see an opening on the, the wall to the right hand side. So we're going to use that half pipe to jump up into that hole in the wall. So here's the half pipe area. You see the hole in the wall here. Use the pipe right in front of it to jump up. If you don't make it, uh, you probably jumped too early. Make sure you drop down to the right side. Don't continue going through that tunnel. That is the quickest route. Now I'm not showing you many of the corners that you can cut like through grass and whatnot, but the one at the end of Ruse Tubes is worth mentioning because it's a little less obvious. At the very end, as you're coming up and completing your lap, you're going to see these dinosaur uh, bones in front of you. You can cut the corner if you jump off the top left of that little ramp to save yourself a little time. Now there's also a shortcut in Coco Park. It's not quite as obvious, but right from the start, we're going to head around this first little corner here. And before we re reach the next big corner, we can take a little trail through the grass here. I didn't really take the best angle at it, but there is the shortcut for that one for it. So next up is Tiger Temple. Tiger Temple, this one's different depending whether you're playing time trials like I am or if you're doing a normal race. Time trials, this opening is gonna be available to you. If you're playing a race, you need to shoot this opening. Uh, there's gonna be a big stone block in the path. So you're gonna have to use a beaker. You can use a rolling bomb, the shield that you can blast forward. Uh, the mask will also work. So that would be right in front of us. You'll see it to the left-hand side. So if you're in a race, you're going to have to shoot that open first. So next up is Papu's Pyramid. We are going to circle around and then get to an open area with a bunch of piranha plants on the left and right hand side. Stay away from them because they will try to eat you. As you're making your way through, you're going to see a wall to the left here and there's an opening between it. We need to jump. And then I'm gonna just kind of let go of my controls and then jump over to this section here. So it's really the two different shortcuts right back to back from each other. Then there's one final shortcut that's not required for the trophy as you're coming up this big hill with a big wide turn. You can actually cut it by jumping off the corner here, cut across the track. It's a big time saver here. So the Polar Pass, we're going to eventually get to a tunnel with a bunch of, uh, well not a bunch, but the two seals that are going to be sliding back and forth at the end of it. It's going to be right after this uh, bridge just up ahead. Now what you need to do again, build up enough turbo. Get your reserves up, do your power sliding, get your turbos, and then we're going to just boost our way. Instead of turning, there's going to be a little bump in the road that you can use as a jump. If you have enough speed, you'll make it. Also make sure you cut the corner, the final jump before the uh, start line. So Dragon Mines, this one's uh, pretty cool. I like this one. Uh, we're going to eventually reach a part uh, after we go through this little area with the gems in it and the water. You're going to see some mine carts traveling from the left to right, and we need to follow the mine carts into the path. So I'm going to stop here just to explain this. So you see those carts? Now you've got to make it through the opposite side without getting hit by one of these carts from behind in order to earn the trophy for this. Now, because I'm going slow, I'm not going to be able to make this jump over here, but that's the shortcut there. So let me just go ahead and show you in a more natural way here. You could certainly get through that a little faster than I did there, but that's how the shortcut works. And get the trophy, and remember, you can't get hit by one of those carts. Now, Blizzard Bluff has a... a, a boy, this is going to have a several shortcuts in it, and you need to build up a lot of speed heading to the first one. There's actually one right at the starting gate. We'll get that one last. So pass that rolling ball. Make sure you've got your turbo up. Get your reserves up. Powered slide over here to the left-hand side and jump across. Two more shortcuts right in front of me here. You see these fences? Well, I didn't quite make that one. So let me just go ahead and try this again. 
a lot of speed, drift, and if you time it just right, you'll be able to jump over that fence and cut a corner. Now, as I mentioned, there's two fences here. So that was the back one. This is the front one. Now, there is one more technical shortcut uh, as pertaining to the trophies right after the starting gate, and you just go through this little opening here on the left-hand side. Next up is the Hot Air Skyway. Now, this one's the... Uh, a lot of people argue whether or not you should take it. A lot of the, the pros, the speedrunners, don't take it because this is actually going to be right after the, right at the super turbo pad. You can go left or right, and we're going to jump right for the shortcut. Which again, many people argue whether or not it actually is a shortcut. But if you take this super turbo pad off to the right hand side, you'll uh, you can land on that shorter path. Now next up is the Cortex Castle. I like this track a lot. Spiders always creep me out, but we're gonna be inside. We're gonna make our way outside. As you go back inside again, uh, as you enter the area, there's going to be a track just to your left that you can jump up to. So right through here to the left. And you can make that corner a little bit quicker. So that's it for the CTR tracks. We're going to do the CNK tracks. These are going to be found in the arcade uh, mode. We're going to start off in Inferno Island. This one's right at the very beginning. You see that mouth in front of you. Don't go through that. Instead, go through this gap to the left and then jump. Then you can cut across that way. Next up is going to be Jungle Boogie. There are two shortcuts in this track. So a short track. The first one's going to be right at the very beginning. We're going to jump and then jump to the right to stay up high. And then continue a little bit further. And we're going to kind of go around in a circle. And you're going to see another track kind of come from above you to the left on the left-hand side. It's going to be just ahead here. There it is. You see that track just up? You have to jump up to it. Save, save about a second there. We have two shortcuts in Clockwork Wumpa. And probably should have started this. I'm maybe 15, 20 seconds into the race. But let's go ahead from the start. You see that spinning gear to my left. Uh, the gears are the secret to this shortcut. See another gear to our right. Well, eventually the track is going to have an arrow pointing left. Instead, you need to continue straight and jump across the top of these spinning gears. There's three of them total. And we're going to find another shortcut just up ahead. In order to do this one, you're going to have to have a lot of speed. But so we're going to kind of slide up this ramp, jump off to the left-hand side to complete that. Next up is Android Alley. This one is actually going to uh, be force you to crash through some glass. You're going to kind of go through a building. It's a very obvious shortcut, but not one you think of right away. So that glass is right in front of us. See the arrow is kind of pointing to the left, so we're just going to cut through. That actually saves you quite a bit of time. Next up is going to be DC uh, driving. Get to this room here with the tentacles. You go through this tunnel. Avoid getting hit by that spinning thing. Now there's going to be a series of ramps, uh, bo boosts rather. There's one, there's two third one just ahead and there's going to be a fourth one the fourth one you can cut to the right to create your own shortcut next up is tiny temple and this one features a tiny shortcut i'm not entirely sure how much time it'll actually shave off for you but make your way through the temple and you're going to come out and you're going to see a bunch of electrical wires on the ground immediately after that section you're going to come to a green stone pathway there's going to be a little shortcut here just to the left if you want to jump over to that. Meteor Gorge is next up on our list. So th th this one is going to be uh, not too difficult. There's one a little bit later that's going to be much more difficult. A couple of them actually. All right, so we're going to make our way. You see that arrow? There's a jump pad. And if you just cut across that corner there. It's the second to the last corner of this track, of that lap. 
We're heading to the Barren Runes. This one's actually going to be right in front of you. It's going to be kind of hard to see. It's a very narrow passage, but you can actually jump through it. We'll see it here momentarily. You see right in front of us, there's a little gap in the wall. You do have to jump over those boxes that are there. So it's right before the finish line. Out of Time has a shortcut relatively early. You're going to see on the right side of the track a fence that if you have enough speed, you can jump over, hop over rather. So we're going to take this corner, drift in there. Here's the fence. You want to kind of drift off or jump off the right side of that fence. Then there is one more shortcut. As you're going through the clock building, you're going to come out of it. Make sure you have enough speed going and jump off to the left side to cut a pretty big corner for you. Assembly lane. Uh, this one's kind of tricky. It's going to take some practice to get, but we're going to uh, have a big corner here. We're going to skip it all and just jump right over it. Now this next one's not going to save you as much time. However, towards the end of the track, you got a little shortcut here right before the end of the lap. Cut over here to the left and jump back over before your big gigantic jump. Now the hyperspaceway. This might be the most difficult shortcut uh, I, I found at least. It's actually two different shortcuts. You can just do the first part of it if you want, or if you could do both of them, uh, it's even better. Now for this, we're gonna go through a teleporter and we're gonna come out of it having the uh, power slide off to the left-hand side. We're gonna drop off the track and we're gonna jump over to the next area and then go to the right. That's That was the first shortcut, here's the second one. In order to do that, you have to have uh, really high speed. It will not work if you're not going fast enough. So that is the shortcut. Hopefully the community finds some more secret hidden ones. But thank you for watching. We'll see you soon.